Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Steve, this is my wife, Lindsay, and today we're gonna to be trying four different types of British hot chocolate. I'm not actually sure if you guys usually use the term hot chocolate or cocoa, but um, I think those are used interchangeably mm -hmm. here. Uh, but super excited about this, guys. We've wanted to do this for a while, and we happen to have a pretty chilly day, so we thought this would be a good day to go ahead and do this. And uh, yeah. so what we have here is Cadbury Instant Hot Chocolate. We have Galaxy Instant Hot Chocolate. And this is Horlicks. I think this is like a hot malt, actually. I don't think it's chocolate. Never heard of that brand before. And then Hotel Chocolat. Okay, cool. Hot cocoa. We actually have tried three of these as milk chocolate That's bars. Yeah. We tried, obviously, we tried Dairy Milk Cadbury, we tried Galaxy, Galaxy Chocolate Bar, and, and we tried some hot uh, Hotel Chocolat. But I don't even know if the, the Horlicks makes chocolate. Yeah, I don't, let us know <laughs> in the comments, see. guys. Does Horlicks make hot chocolate? So, well, they make hot chocolate. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does uh, Horlicks make, uh, this actually looks kind of like, um, like white chocolate or something. Yeah, it does. I don't really know. But I think know. it's malt. Malt. I don't really no, I know what like a are. malt milkshake. Malt, mm, we have those. Those are yeah, really good. Malt shakes are good. I wonder if that's what this kind of tastes like. But I'm gonna go ahead and pour them in the These three just say add water and the hotel chocolat says add milk, water, or mm, this or, is so good. Oh my goodness. This wow. Is so rich. Wow. It's like literal bits of chocolate. You probably wouldn't be able to see it if I it is literal chocolate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Cadbury. Oh. <laughs> that smells about like what I expected. Like dairy milk. Yeah, you want to smell? Ooh, it smells sweet. We were going to add marshmallows, but we thought maybe that would like for the taste test that might yeah. actually interfere with knowing what the cocoa itself tasted like. This doesn't smell sweet at all. <laughs> it doesn't. But it, but it um, has sugar in it. I smell the sweetness a little bit. You do? Bit. Yeah. I'm a little scared of this one. I want to read. It's malt. That one. Which is quick. wheat. Really? And malted barley. Uh, yeah. Is that what malt is? Yeah. I, I mean, I, I never knew it was like. Um, I obviously understand, you know, the beer making process, but I, I, I didn't understand what that. That's what malt. In a malt shake was. Yeah, I know. I really? didn't put it together either. I don't know what I thought it was. Like that's so. Ah, I almost put it in the. <laughs> so that's what malt balls are too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I like Maltesers, so maybe yeah. maybe I like have, those. We have Whoppers. And I like malt shake. Do I don't like Whoppers? No, I don't either. Did we do a? Uh, wasn't that on that? Mm -hmm. uh, the U.S. versus U.K. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I think you can probably hear my voice. My voice is definitely getting better, um, but. Uh, it's, it's hard to get still all not perfect. Okay. Cool. All right. It's all, all right. So, so this is the galaxy. Yeah, that's the galaxy. This is the. Oh, Put that right there. And this then is we the got the. Okay. Okay. Now. Now we're gonna add the water. Yep. Or also. Oh. <laughs> got some milk there. And some water. We're gonna add just add a, a little of each. Yeah, just a spot. I wouldn't fill it up too high. Wait, it said how much did it say fill it up? I don't know. I think it's supposed to be like a kind of I would go like higher a, than that. Well, I was gonna add milk too. Oh yeah. Okay, so yeah, add some milk and then 220 milliliters of milk. I don't know. I have no We're idea. I'm just gonna eyeball it and hope it works. Because yeah. the milk's not hot. Yeah, we're gonna need a little bit more um, water than that. I can already tell. Cause it needs to be up to like, probably about the bottom of man for everything. Not just for the yeah, water, but yeah. for everything. It needs to be about to, most of the way to the top. Man, this smells good. Guys, I wish you guys could smell this I, I don't know which one I'm smelling or if I'm smelling just a combination of all of them, I guess. I'm incorporating very easily. I think you need to pour more water in. I did. No, into 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 these. And then we'll pour the milk in. 
Yeah, okay, that's probably good. That's a little bigger of a cup. Go up to about, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, I wanna see this real quick. I'm really curious if this is gonna taste like a Cadbury bar. And is, I'm gonna have to wipe it between because we don't wanna yeah, sure. cross contaminate. Did you put milk in that one? Yeah, not milk. Ah, good idea, good idea to stir it a little bit before putting the milk in. I wish I brought other spoons up here. That is a very I was white. I say I'm not like super excited to try that. I don't, it might be really good, but. I was most excited about the Hotel Chocolat one, mm -hmm. but it's not melting very well. So I don't know. That water is very hot. It is, we just boiled it. Right. Yeah, it. go ahead. Wash <laughs> milk. Yeah, we think the milk it just add a little creaminess to this. <laughs> yeah. Which I think most people do add, at least in the US, we definitely add milk to our cocoa, yeah. generally speaking. It's richer. Yeah. Okay. That's probably good. I want to try yeah, that one, this again. Because it's not looking very incorporated. Okay, from what I can tell, the Horlick really, uh, it, it went together very well. Uh, the Cadbury merged together very well as well. The try this one, see what the galaxy yeah, looks see. like. Okay. Did we do it right? Yeah, it's just it's just cocoa. Yeah. I mean. so, oh. What? What? A velvetizer, like a frother. Into your velvetizer. What's a velvetizer? Press Is the button. Press the button and let the velvetizer work its magic. You have to have a special machine for this cocoa? Maybe. That's why it's not uh, yeah. merging together as well. I do have a frother, but I didn't know I'd need it. Yeah, I know. All right. Well, How's that one? Looks good. Yeah, so. All right. So these look like the more traditional hot cocoa. I would say, I would say look-wise... I like the look of the Galaxy best. Yeah, me too. And then followed by the Cadbury. Mm -hmm. And then I've never, so I've never seen a cow cow. I mean, a cocoa that looks I like know. this. It makes me a little nervous. It's not cocoa because there's no cocoa in it. It's hot malt. <laughs> I think that goes together with I know, cocoa though. But I'm just saying it's, it's the same type of cocoa. thing. It's gonna be interesting. This right. is the one. I'm. It just looks. And that's probably the way we prepared it. Maybe we just didn't do it right. Well, I mean, you would think cocoa is prepared like cocoa, like instant cocoa. Yeah. I think, a, I wonder if, is a velvetizer something it's that they sell? Oh, one serving of hot chocolate for the velvetizer. I, I'm guessing. I think it's that, a frother. No, I'm guessing the average person probably doesn't do that. I'm guessing the average person, that they had this, they would just stir it up with some water, maybe we'll add some see. milk. I think we should start with this one. Because... Otherwise, the chocolate's going to mess with the taste. Okay. These are, oh man, these are very, very hot. But We're just gonna that's when you want to try it. I don't like the way it smells. I got to be honest. It smells a little too hoppy. Hoppy? Yeah, like hops. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She is trying the Horlick uh, malt. Wait, Horlick hot malty goodness. What'd you think? I don't like it. You don't like it at all? Mm -hmm. It tastes very strange. Very strange. And I just got it all over my face. I agree with her. I don't like the smell of this. <laughs> I've never seen anything quite like it. I wish I could show it to you guys for anybody who doesn't know what this looks like. It's yeah. very, it's uh, yeah, I like, can't really show it, but it's very. Like a beige. It's almost like a, what you expect with a very, very, very milky coffee. Like someone who mm -hmm. poured a lot of cream into their coffee. Like a yeah, lot like of cream. Yeah, mostly cream. <laughs> yeah, like, this, like cream with a tad bit of coffee. It doesn't taste like cream, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Isn't it 
that weird? Yeah. It was very strange. It's very hot. Yeah, it is hot. Okay, we didn't put much milk in this at all. Just a tad to make it a little creamier. Yeah. But it tastes like like watered down hot milk. Yeah, but with like a yeasty Yeah, after yeah. Yeah, it tastes like a yeast extract type of. The first ingredient is wheat and malted Ooh. wheat, 30%. Then dried skim milk, malted barley, which is 22%. Yeah, it's yeah, not I, don't think. I know a lot of people are going to be like, he says he doesn't like it, but he keeps on trying it. But the reason for that is, guys, because I, I will try things over and over again as I'm like, because I want to make sure I how I feel about it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, I don't know how you're going back for more. <laughs> well, I can do that. even when I don't like it that much. I can I can try it multiple times, but uh, um, I'm trying to figure out what it tastes like. I yeah, it's very unique. <sighs> that was a pretty good sip. It honestly is a very... It's not enjoyable. No, it's very mild, but it's like just yeasty. I was going to say it's like drinking... Bread dough. Bread yeast water. Yeah. It's like, like drinking a little sweetened bread dough. Yeah, if it's it was not a liquid very sweet. Form. It really no, it's just a tad sweet. All right, what are we trying next? Thumbs down for me on that, sorry. Yeah, that was, a th that was the thumbs down for me as well. I, I don't really like the Horlick. I'm not really sure... I mean, it just said add water. So I think they make a chocolate version too. Now that might be better, the chocolate version. But I don't know if it has malt in it or if it's just cocoa. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let us know in the comments. Do you like this? Have you tried it? Do you not like it? I, mean, I don't even know if they sell anything like that here. Oh, that's something else I want to say. Like, we were thinking about trying biscuits with this, but again, we were like, I don't know if people really like... Like, for example, do you would you eat a chocolate biscuit with... Seems like a lot of sweetness. Yeah, it did. Like, some of us, like, normally here, like I said when we started the video, we would normally put marshmallows maybe in some cocoa. Or, like, sometimes you sprinkle peppermint, crushed up peppermint. If you like that. I'm not really a big fan of that. But the marshmallow... But we thought maybe the marshmallow would take away from it, from trying it, trying it. So, um... What do you want to do, Cadbury, next? Yeah, we can do Cadbury. Cadbury. The Cadbury has... Come on, like, uh, it's, it's a little yes. less... No, it's fine. It's, I mean, it's... Yeah, go ahead, I guess. But <laughs> it's pretty... There's no powder left. No. It's just... I think that's just the way it looks. But it's definitely... All right, are you taking a sip Definitely more first? Yeah, I'll go ahead. All right. <clears throat> they are very hot. Hmm. Not as sweet as I thought it would be. No, no. Maybe we added too much water. It could be. That's the, no. I don't. I don't think so. I mean, it doesn't seem like it. We didn't even fill it up all the way at all. Yeah, I think it's probably normally sweeter. It is good. But no, that's pretty good. Two hundred milliliters of hot water. I honestly. I'm not used to like measuring measured it. with milliliters, so I'm not really sure eyeing that what that means. But it's it, okay. It's a mug. I can't imagine. For example, I can't imagine on this mug right here that mm -hmm. 200 well, milliliters. This is a bigger mug, though. Yeah, but we only filled it up to like right here. Yeah, I think we might have added a tiny bit too much water, but it's still like you can still taste how good it is. Like it's still decent. Yeah, we do have another Cadbury. Uh, Sophie has already tried. Sophia tried good. the Cadbury. Did she try the Galaxy too? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. She tried the Cadbury. Um, I don't remember. Did she like it? I don't think she liked hot cocoa She's that much. She's just not a big fan of hot beverages. Yeah. I think that's the thing like with me too. I'm, I don't drink hot beverages generally. I like them. Lindsay loves hot beverages. <laughs> I didn't grow up with it though. I'm going to try this one first. This is the Galaxy Instant Hot Chocolate. That one looks like it's going to be the best. Mmm. Okay. It's a lot, it tastes a lot creamier to me. Yeah, I like the Galaxy. Okay. All right, here we go. It looks the most together. And like I, the most incorporated. Yeah, and I like the way that it's got a little bit of bubbles. It looks it looks more frothy, mm -hmm. uh, which is what I would expect from something like this. Yeah. Frothy. 
Mm, yeah. That... Whey is the first ingredient. Whey permia. Sugar. Reduced fat cocoa powder. Okay. Coconut oil. Yeah. Milk sugar. Mm. Okay, so this one is is, is thicker. It's more mm -hmm, rich. Mm -hmm. It's uh it's much more enjoyable. Yeah. This with this putting some marshmallows in this. Yeah. Would be really good on a very cold winter day. I can imagine this would be a very this would be a, a very joyful thing to consume. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that one's thumbs up. Yeah. For sure. That one that one's a definite thumbs up for us. This one us. it's still not looking too great, <laughs> I gotta be honest. It's just got like tiny bits of unmelted chocolate in it somehow. Velveter. Velvetizer. Velvetizer. I've never even heard that Neither. before. I, I'm guessing that would be what we call a frother. One of those little machines that you can... Ah! What? I was not expecting that. What? It's dark chocolate. Oh, wait. I was thinking it was going to be like... It's not bad. It just surprised me. Classic 70%. <laughs> Not too sweet, the perfectly balanced hot chocolate. Yeah, I was I was expecting more of this experience, right. um, and it was more bitter. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting for me. Tea man. The texture isn't bad though. I thought because there was some unmelted pieces that it would be noticeable. It's not that noticeable, but yeah. it's just very bitter to me. Yeah, it's very bitter. Like if uh, I'm drinking hot cocoa, yeah, I don't want it to be as. I would have to, I would want to add definitely add marshmallows to that. That's true. If you added marshmallows to this one, it would I think, probably sweeten it yeah, just it would enough. Balance it. But it's a little too dark. Again, I, you know, I think anybody's watched us try the stuff, <laughs> try chocolate for yeah. any amount of time. They know that dark chocolate can be very hit or miss with us. Mm -hmm. Um I do like a dark chocolate from time to time, but I've got it's gotta be in the right gotta be in the mindset. right mindset yeah. for it, yeah. All right, I'm going to try all these again, just to see what I think. I've I've got my, I've got my. Uh, this is cooled down just a cooled down a, just enough to where it's not scalding your mouth. Yeah, you can you can definitely <laughs> get a better feel for what this tastes like now. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Hold on. Oh, you're doing them all. Okay. Okay. Are you trying them? No, not again. I already know. I'll actually I'll try the galaxy again because I like it. That's I like it. Hold on, I was about I was just about to try it. <laughs> you just did. I did. I tried the cabaret. Oh. I could drink that like water. Yeah, this is I think the galaxy is my favorite. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. That's pleasant. Yeah. Whew. All right, so. All right, guys. So, you want to rate them? Yeah. I don't think. I, okay. I'm not gonna move on. No. I'll just... I'm gonna rate them zero to ten. I think. Oh, I, I think you gonna... probably. I think it's easy to tell what we probably like the most and like the least. Um, but for me, it goes. For the the my least favorite was the Horlicks. Mm. Um, I would probably give that a two. I would give it like a one. Yeah, two is generous on that. I just don't like it. I don't like anything. it. Uh, my second least favorite is the Hotel Chocolat. It mm -hmm. is probably pretty good if you like dark chocolate. And if you have like the Velvetizer thing, it would be better. I would say they're, when we tried their chocolate before, it was delicious. Their chocolate bars were delicious. I'm just not a fan and of this. I'm sure they have milk chocolate versions. Of yeah, this that we would like more. Yeah, I think the milk chocolate would be a little better. Um, and like you said, I think maybe if you could incorporate that better with a velvetizer or whatever, it and would. Add some marshmallows. But I don't understand why it needed the velvetizer compared to these others. Because um, it's real chocolate. <laughs> but I will give this for me. Is probably on the line of about a f four. I l I will say this though, ingredient wise, hands down, this is the winner. Yeah, because this is real chocolate. It's just cocoa solids, sugar, emulsifier, and flavoring. Yeah, I think it just it's not sweet enough for me. 
right. Like yeah. I said, if we had tried the milk chocolate, I think it would have been our number one. Yeah, I think it really, really good. And if we ever get the milk chocolate version, we will we will use a milk what? Okay, I don't think I don't think it's a. It might be their version of a frother because here it says Velvetizer is a registered trademark of Hotel Chocolat. Oh. So I wonder if it's something they specifically oh. make for their. Yeah, let us know, guys. Anybody <laughs> bought a Velvetizer? Well, um, I but I get that about a four. Or so, and I think I think for ingredient, if you're talking about just ingredients, and, you're, and you're, if you're talking about darker chocolate, mm -hmm. hot chocolate, you like that? I think it would be good. I, I personally would rate this a six. Okay. Plus. Um, next up is the Cadbury, and that I would probably. <laughs> I think it could use a little less water, but I, could, I got a good feel for what mm -hmm. the taste was like. And I think I would give that a probably a six and a half. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was. It was Did you already read this? No. Okay. This Galaxy is the best for hot chocolate. I can't think of a time I had better hot chocolate. The Galaxy Especially is out excellent. Of a pack, out yeah, of a out of a packet. We make our own homemade. Sometimes. Making homemade chocolate is hot chocolate is a little bit different. You can control the sugar and everything and make it to your likeness. Uh, but yeah, this is. You know, it's hard for me to give a, something a ten, so I'm not going to give it a ten. But this is definitely a nine for me. I was going to say eight, eight and a half. So pretty cool. Yeah, I could go. Yeah, eight and a half to nine, probably it's somewhere around that. It's very good. If you haven't tried Galaxy Hot Chocolate, it's excellent. <laughs> this is excellent. Mm. <laughs> I could drink this like water. You'd be buzzing all day long. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm already going to be buzzing from this. I and I use calcium every day uh, for yeah, my shakes and stuff. Yeah. One day I'm about to show you guys. I'm about to make a video of. Uh, the shake I make every day that I've made for a it's very a long time. Yeah. It tastes like a milkshake. Yeah, it tastes like milkshake. I think a lot of people would probably enjoy it. So uh, let me know if you want to see that sometime. I, I literally drink it every single day for, for like, like the last 11 years. Like, yeah, for like a decade or more. <laughs> uh, so it's pretty good. And it's, and it's uh, yeah, we'll get into that another time. But yeah, what'd you think? It was good. It was interesting to try them. And I definitely think. Even though these two are probably the lower tier budget hot chocolates. It's more enjoyable. Well, I was going to say it's easier, much, much better than like Swiss Miss or anything yes. they have here. <laughs> yes. I didn't like this, but Hotel Chocolat is good if you like darker cocoa. I think I think it's good. It's just not my... my flavor that you want yeah, in hot chocolate. Right. But like I said, if it was the milk chocolate, we probably would have liked it a lot more. Yeah. But uh, I think that's it for us today, guys, yeah. I guess. This is fun. We wanted to get this video done before it starts warming up. Yeah, because I don't think we have many more cool days. Mm -hmm. Not not so <laughs> not cold. Not cool enough that I would Not like full-on winter days. So, um, But the wind's blowing and it's really, it's like really cold today. So, um, But... Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow us on our journey to try anything and everything out of the UK or Ireland. Until next time, guys. Peace. Bye.